Hey everybody, today I'm going to speak about confidence when you're on the street. Many people get nervous when you're going up to someone for the first time and performing a card trick. Uh, they're very nervous, will I mess up? I really hope I don't mess up on this trick. So, here are a few guidelines that will help you, I hope. Take a notebook, write down lists of tricks. Look at this. I have all this stuff filled with tricks. This one, I'll skip that right now. Here we go. All these papers, they're all filled with tricks. And uh, I organize in one of my notebooks. I organize tricks by subject. These are stage tricks. These are non-impromptu card tricks that use a full deck. These are impromptu card tricks. These are packet card tricks. All that stuff. What that allows you to do is to look, you can look over your sheet, and I suggest this, look over your sheet, do 10 or 20 tricks a day, get those down perfectly. And pick one trick that takes about 30, 45 seconds to do. Practice that every day, 10, 20, 30 times, 100 times, I don't care how much. Do it a lot every day so you can master it. That will be your opening card trick when you perform for people on the street. So, I'm just going to demonstrate what I mean by that. The, the, gr the great thing about, um, about having that quick trick as your opener is that, it, oh, let's just take the top card, here we go. That if people, uh, people sometimes, they're not sure if they want to see you, so you show them a 30, 45 second trick, that will uh, let them know if they, if they want to watch more. So make sure that your opener is very good. Now, what I've done is I've removed one card, this is my opener. It's tough to do on YouTube. It only really works live. It's foolproof live. On YouTube, <laughs> it can be easily uh, thwarted, but here's the idea. So you pick a female preferably. If you're at a group, there's a female there, pick her. It'd be best, because it tends to work better with them. So, uh, if you're a female, or even if you're a male, just I want you to name any card you'd like. Just say it out loud. Uh, and I'm guessing a fair amount of you probably said the Queen of Hearts, which is what I put there. Now, what we're just going to recap that, what you do is you have her hold out her hand, place it down, have her put her other hand on top so you can't get to it. Now, I said this is foolproof. Doesn't seem proof, foolproof yet. But, first of all, most females, and even males, will generally pick the Queen of Hearts as their first card, especially if they're not sure if they can really, if you're really also special, they'll just pick a, you know, classic card, the Queen of Hearts. So, what happens if they name a different card? Here's what you do. Let's say they name the Six of Clubs. I hope this, wait, this, this deck might not be full, might I have the Six of Clubs? Oh, there it is. Here we go, the Six of Clubs. What you're going to do is you're just going to control it to the top. Very simple, control it to the top. And what I just did, the way that I did it was, let's say, let's say they said the Six of Hearts this time. Here we go. I pull the Six of Hearts around, just like that, underneath the cards, and run it back up on top, which gets it to the top of the deck. Do that while they, while you have them turn over the Queen of Hearts, showing that you totally uh, messed up. They you weren't even close. So the Six of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, nothing to do with the Six of Hearts. But... So this is foolproof. Here's how you can avoid. Uh, here's how you can avoid that any problems. What you're going to do is a quick switch. That wasn't even very well done. It's a. You just see, see the slide. That's all I'm doing. You have the. You take their select the uh, card that you put in their hand, which is the Queen of Hearts. Place it on top of the deck. Pick up two cards as one by the corners, by the non-index corners. And what you're going to do is simply use your index finger to turn over the cards. That's all I'm doing in fast motion. Although, like in all magic, the uh, bigger action hides the smaller action, so when you do the whole big wave in your hand, it pretty much covers the fact that you've just um, that you've just turned the cards over. Once you've done that, you can place both the cards back on top drop off the six, you now just ditch the queen. And uh, the six can be handed out for examination. Cut the deck, cut the queen into the middle. That's, yeah, the queen into the middle. 
so that no, uh, so that uh, people people will often figure out the fact that it must be it must have been on top, and then they'll know that it, that their that the Queen of Hearts will be somewhere at the top of the deck, and they can turn the top cards over. Won't be the the Queen. They can look at the bottom cards, and then if they and then they look through the entire deck and see that the Queen is uh, right there, in the middle of the deck. And this will blow people away, and then they'll have no idea how you did it. So, the idea of having this quick trick is, uh, once again, gets people's attention. It's got to be done very well, and it has to be foolproof. That makes you not nervous. If it's foolproof, what's there to be nervous about? So, I'm just going to recap. You have them, you take out the Queen of Hearts, place it face down in their hand, ask them to name a card. So, they say the Six of Clubs, again, here we go. Control that card to the top. Oh yeah, and if they say the Queen of Hearts, pretend as if it was intended. Turn, have them turn over the Queen of Hearts. It'll be very amazing, and that should definitely want uh, get them to want to see more. So what you do is you uh, take the card, hold the top two cards by the non-index corners, and while doing a bigger motion, flip it over, drop the card that they named. Cut the queen to the middle of the pack, and now you're set. A few tips. Now, the two classic cards that people will pick are the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts more often, I've noticed. So, what I do to eliminate the possibility of them naming the Ace of Spades, which is the next most named card, is I place the Ace of Spades on the bottom of the deck. So then I can go through... Remove the Queen of Hearts, and this is what I do, and I hold it up against the Ace of Spades, so they know that this card is not the Ace of Spades. It can be any card, as long as it's not the Ace of Spades. Now I place it in their hand. I still let them see the Ace of Spades. They name any card. They will not name the Ace of Spades. They'll name, uh, generally, the Queen of Hearts. If they don't, then you're still covered. Another card that people often pick is the Ace of Hearts, so I keep that card on top. Just in case they name it, I don't even need to control any card to the top. I can just place the queen on top of the deck and give it a flip. That really did not go too well. But, hope you learned something from this video. See you next time.